impress you with some knowledge right here. Help you out with your dying plants. Hello, plant lady. Hello. Be careful. We're all infected here. Oh. <laughs> and, all right. Um, let's check out first question. Says the pot split on this plant. Should I wait until the leaves drop to plant or do it now? Okay. Yeah, that's a good question because usually, you know, you plant bare root plants. You don't want to disturb plants when they're actively growing. But if it's split out of its pot and you're putting it into a new pot, go ahead and just put it in there now. And if you were going to put it in the ground, I would still recommend doing it now because it's still, the grounds aren't sopping wet. It's not too cold. But minimize the disturbance of roots. You sort of want to tickle all those roots around it. And that way the plant doesn't continue if it is pot bound. It's circular motion of the roots. You sort of always want to confuse the roots so they grow out into their new environment. So I would just say loosen up the roots along the edges, put it in the ground. Remember, if you're putting the plant in the ground, a good idea always is to keep an undisturbed mound of soil in the center and trench around it and put the plant right there in the center. And that way, any water that we get, and if you have heavy clays, it's going to fall down into that basin and it's not going to drown your plant. Okay, here's the next one. Some of the leaves on my red bud tree have holes. What do I do? Okay, so red buds are deciduous. They're going to drop off. So if you just have a few, I wouldn't worry about it. Creatures come along, they nibble it, they decide if they like it or not. When they like it, that's when you get into a problem and you'll see a whole tree possibly be de defoliated. So when you have lower leaves, holes in the center. It could be a few things. I know some red buds, some larvae of moths will actually <laughs> nibble on them. In that case, you could use the BT, you turn them over, you could see worms. Sometimes earwigs leave that type of damage, but usually that's very low down. So I would look for worms. You could sprinkle some BT, but really we're getting towards the end of the season. If there's just a few, I would leave it alone. Okay, this one has to do with a uh, plant at the front door that's turned brown. The one right next to it is healthy. What's going on? That's a dianthus, also known as a carnation, and they do this. It's sort of like lavenders and a few other plants. You'll have half a plant dead, the other half plant alive. That's a soil fungus. There's a few of them, Phytophthora, Fusarium, uh, Verticillium. I would pull that dead part <laughs> out, and if it is, if I'm seeing it correctly, it looks like there's part of a plant still alive. It's hard to tell. But a dianthus will do that. It's, it's hit and miss. Doesn't mean your other plants will get it. It could mean that that one was stressed a little bit, so the soil fungus Fungus, that's most likely throughout the soil already just hit that one because it was more susceptible but pull that dead out leave any remaining parts alive and always remember all this fungus and moves through plants fast if the soil is too wet so we shouldn't be really watering your plants too much this time of year since we got some rain so just watch it it's not abnormal if one out of four plants die I've had dianthus do that it's just just the way they are Okay, thanks Marlene. Mm -hmm. How can people get a hold of you when you're not on our weekend show? Uh, Facebook, Marlene the Plant Lady. I'll answer your questions. Give me a few days. Um, also, Instagram, Simon Says Garden. Those are pretty much the two ways um, to get me. That's I'm limiting my social media to that. You could get a little crazy. And I'm already crazy, so I don't think <laughs> What do you mean? You don't Snapchat with plants? What? Uh, well, I do, but privately. Oh, oh. oh. Well, do you think we're cool enough to be on the private mm, list? Apparently not. <laughs> apparently not. All right, you can still send your pictures in.